Hey, it's me, the Draft Network, coming back with another video. Today we're going to be talking the, pre the recap of week 14 in the NFL. This was a especially rough week for me at coming picking. I went 6-8, and eight, I believe. Um, and a made, lot of major help. Um, what do you call it? Lots of major upsets in this week. So let's get started. On Thursday Night Football, the Chief, the, um, the Saints and the Atlanta Falcons played. This game was um, close to the finish. This game came down to a call, which is something I really don't like about the NFL these days. It seems like seven, eight games this season have came down to dumb calls. For instance, the Jets-Patriots game, which I'm not saying the Jets would have won that game. I'm saying that they would have had a better chance to win it. But um, And then this game, which came down to a call that, um, that um, was because... Uh, the head coach of the Saints ran on the field and said, "In timeout, timeout, timeout." Whenever they're trying to, fo when the rest were trying to focus on the fumble, um. So, is this call correct? No, I do not agree with the call at all. Um, regardless, the call was a call. The, the Saints lost the game. The Falcons win, and it dis and it changes the whole playoff picture like crazy. Next game, the Cleveland Browns and the um, Green Bay Packers. The Green Bay Packers coming in this game, trying to win, trying to get them their team on board, trying to make a push with um, Aaron Rodgers when he comes back. FYI, he's came, there's a news article that came out that he will start against the um, Panthers on Sunday. So, anyway, back to this game. The Green Bay Packers are down seven to twenty-one at half during the third quarter and brought it back in overtime to win 27-24 in a great W for the team. Next they will play Green Bay will play um the Panthers next week and the Browns will play I do not the the, the Ravens. The v Browns are still winless. Green Bay 7-6. Next the Detroit Lions and the New York and the um, Tampa Bay Buccaneers the Tampa Bay Bucks came in this game trying to put stuff together, trying to have a chance at the playoffs. But they get knocked out. They lose this game. They knocked out the 4-9 on the season. It makes Detroit um, a team to wreck with in the NFC. I believe they're 7-6 and six now. So they have a chance to pull this off yet if they run the table. Um, it's going to be hard, but they can pull it off. Next, the Chiefs, the Oakland Raiders, and the um, KC, um, Kansas City Chiefs. Kansas City coming off of a rough loss to the Jets, 31-38. Um, trying to make things happen, and they do. They kick butt 25-0 score in the fourth quarter, but 26-0 score in the fourth quarter. But they managed, but the Oakland Raiders managed to put 15 points up to make it look better, I guess. Um, the Oakland Raiders fall to six and seven, I believe. Um, and the Chiefs go to seven and six. Um, next, the Detroit, the um, Buffalo, the Minnesota Vikings, and the um, Carolina Panthers. As the Minnesota Vikings to win this game, I thought the Minnesota Vikings were the better team, but apparently the um, Panthers came out and put things together and to win this game. Impressive win for the Panthers and to keep them their spot in the in, a, in the playoffs at nine and four. Um, the Vikings fall back to number two in the AFC West. I mean in the NFC. 49ers and the Houston Texans. This game. This game was probably the. This game was probably the best game played by a 49ers team since, uh, since for years now, probably two at least. Um, 49ers came in here putting things together, making Houston look bad. Jimmy Garoppolo played a wonderful game to get his second W on his second start as a 49er, undefeated as a 49er. Pretty impressive um, for not playing in years. Um, next, the Indianapolis Colts and the Buffalo Bills. This was a snowy game, a... But there's a foot of snow on the ground. Um, the Colts came into this game trying to put two and two together, trying to beat this beat up Buffalo team. I, I took the I took Buffalo to win this game. Buffalo did it. LeSean McCoy does what he does every time it snows and puts up big numbers. Because no one's gonna complain if you give him the ball thirty times in a snow game. They, they had um, Nathan Peterman went out with an injury to put Joshua Webb as a as the third quarter starter to end up winning this game. Regardless, um, LeSean McCoy wins, makes this team. It's definitely the game MVP. 
Next, the um, Chicago Bears versus the um, Bengals. The Bengals, I thought, had this game easily. But the Bears came out here and kicking and screaming, yelling, and, every, and all sorts of things. Just, it's amazing. Because this thing looked like it was dead. It really did. There's games that they looked like they had no chance to win. They didn't play with heart. They came out here and played with heart, which is impressive. Um, they win this game in a 30 Five to fourteen game, I think was the score. I could be wrong, but anyway, it was not close for the, the um, Bengals. Bengals fall off the charts the last two weeks to losses to the Bears and the Steelers. Next, the um, Dallas Cowboys and the Giants. Giants came into this game with Eli Manning as a starter again after that whole um, Ben McAdoo situation had was resolved. They lose regardless. The um, the Ezekiel Elliott Dallas Cowboys find a way to win and are still in the playoffs. Still in the playoff hunt, or in the race, I should say. Next, the Tennessee Titans and the Arizona Cardinals. Arizona Cardinals trying to play like a team without Palmer. They do it. They do it again. Palmer gets, I mean, Saints, I mean, the Arizona Cardinals get the W here versus the Tennessee Titans. Tennessee trying to keep the playoffs in their hands. It's not looking good. Let's see if they can pull this out. Next, the New York Jets and the Detroit Lions. The New York Jets were demolished 23-0. The Jets were just outplayed with just 102 yards of total offense. Embarrassing for the New York Jets. Next, the wash and um, McCown injures his, um, breaks his left hand. He'll out for the season. Petty will be the starter for week 15 versus the Saints. Next, the Washington Redskins in the D in the LA. Chargers, the Chargers trying to put things together, and they do. They they make a way, and they win games. They kick the Saints out of the, the um, Washington Redskins out of the playoffs, and they drop the five and nine on the season. Um, this Chargers team making a run for themselves, run for their money. I, I'm not gonna be surprised if this team makes the playoffs at this point, and run the t and runs the table. This team is impressive. Next, Seahawks and the and the Jaguars. Jaguars come in here, somehow pull the win off of this team. A banged up Saint, a banged up Seahawks team. Maybe that was the issue, but it was a shootout to the end um, with the Jaguars getting the W. Next, the Philadelphia Eagles and the Atlanta and the Rams. The Rams do lose this game, but they injure Mister. Carson Wentz for the season. He was out with an ACL. Fools will, fools will back him up. And it makes a race for the MVP. Very slim. Um, my bet at this point is going towards Tom Brady. Why not? I mean, who else is staying healthy? Um, unless he gets injured. Which would be wouldn't surprise me at all. Um, next, the Pittsburgh Steelers and the and the. Um, Baltimore Ravens, the Baltimore Ravens coming in this game trying to do what they did, trying not to do what they did last year and give the Steelers the playoffs, but they do in the end, 38-39. to They gave it all they had. It just wasn't enough. Boswell making it happen to win the game. Next, the um, Patriots and the Miami Dolphins, a solemn loss for the, um, for the, for the, a, for the Patriots. Patriots struggled all the game long. Didn't look like Tom Brady could get in the um. Didn't look like Tom Brady could get into any rhythm. They get the loss here. Miami looks impressive, six and seven team, and the Patriots fall to number two in the AFC. To give the Steelers, um, the number one seed officially, and that that means that they will have to play the Steelers next week. A great game, probably the best game of the week. So if you like the video, make sure to hit the like button. For more like this, hit the subscribe button. I went six and eight this week. Um